Hello and welcome to What the Hey, where I'm gonna answer a question, so let's get to it. Now, when I go to my notebook of knowledge, I see the question of uh, who the hey is Derek from Thomas and Friends? Now, this question comes from Atlas, the number five MSR, so hello to you and thank you very much for the question. Now, in terms of a very basic description, most, if not all, of the characters in the Thomas the Tank Engine world usually do their best to be helpful. However, in some cases, like with the character of Derek, despite their best efforts, sometimes things just don't work out. Who we are in fact discussing today would be the character of Derek, otherwise known as Derek the Diesel, or in some cases, Paxman. It's kind of an awkward situation because the name of Derek isn't really used in most of the actual Thomas and Friends material. Realistically, the only occasions where you're going to see Derek's name actually mentioned is in Thomas and Friends merchandise. So if you happen to be someone who likes to collect things, and you for some reason really like the character of Derek, you'll probably actually get his name on stuff, but it's basically just through the merchandise. When actually speaking on the originations of the character, he was designed by three different people, Brit, and two people with the same name of David, which is a little confusing. And when going into what the creators of Derek wanted to base him on locomotive-wise, he is a British Rail Class 17, more specifically a diesel electric Bobo. And when I was looking at pictures of Derek's character as well as like what he's actually based on, I was like, this is kind of different because with that specific kind of diesel locomotive, they're pretty dang long. And I will briefly mention that I'll go more into the actual design of Derek's character because that's kind of important to his overall development. To give you a little bit more background information on Derek's character, he was theoretically built and designed by the Clayton Equipment Company. And then when he was finally built and ready to start working, they primarily set him on the British Railways. More so specifically, especially in the actual show material, he works on the Sodor China Clay Company. Very quickly, I would like to show you some legit visualizations real quick. I found this cool book called Britain by Brit Rail and like one of the first few pages is it shows a map of all the railways in England. Like bruh, that's a lot. Which I definitely appreciate areas that incorporate railways into their system so people aren't having to drive around as much. And with re-referencing the Sodor China Clay Company, that's where Derek actually makes his first appearance. Which the first episode that Derek shows up in would be Double Teething Troubles, which aired in 1998. Which the episode itself kind of includes characters like Bill and Ben who kind of need help with transporting different carts, which is where Derek comes in. With going into a general overview of Derek's impact in this specific episode, what's initially introduced is the fact that Derek is a character who's really excited to work. And going a little bit more in depth with that, specifically he wants to prove that he can work really hard and he can do a good job. So overall, Derek's character is that he wants to be helpful. However, one of the key character traits with Derek in this episode is despite the fact that he does want to work hard, he ends up kind of messing up because he overheats a lot. However, by the end of the episode, most of the locomotives that encounter Derek basically don't care because Derek's personality is that he wants to be helpful, but he's also very nice. So you have characters like Bill and Ben who usually pick on a lot of locomotives, but because they realize that Derek wants to work hard and help them out, they still think he's really nice, which is kind of cool. In terms of my general opinion, I feel like one of my favorite things about Derek's character is the fact that he does have a good work ethic and he's also very nice. He's not super pushy with being nice, like he's not super overbearing, it's just like a general good personality. I do also really appreciate the creativity and effort that the characters of Derek's character put into his inclusion in the show. Because his overall design is very interesting, but it also does include realistic flaws in the design itself. Because the locomotives that were in the British Rail Class 17 did tend to like overheat and mess up, so like seeing that detail put into the show is pretty cool. I do also just like the general fact that they named him Derek, like that doesn't sound like a very locomotive-y name, but it works. So that's essentially the answer to the question, and if you have any questions, let me know and I'll get to working on them as soon as I can, but that's about it. So thank you very much for watching. Bye!